Oh, look at that. She just bought a $15 salad. That is awesome. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get some more furniture in this place so we can get more people in here, get them to walk through the door, roll through the door, crab walk through the door, whatever they want to do. Just come in through the door and bring me your money. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. I went to Beans with my mom and got yesterday's fish stew. Mom thought it tasted like veal, but I thought it was more like tangerine mango. Overall, tasteless drab. Five-star review. Thanks for that. That's a great review. Random person. I don't know. That's actually not a very good review. Let's buy a pasta roller. We're going to serve some pasta up in this place. And you know what? I don't have enough money to buy anything else, so let's see what we can do with pasta. Oh, that's... Probably not an intentional thing there that the pasta uh, just scrolls with everything. But whatever, we'll we'll work with that and see what happens there. There we go. We got some rusty ravioli. And I bet that fixed it. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Maybe can we do like a pasta salad or something? That would be good. Ooh, how about the squid ink? Hmm, all right, maybe not. Maybe not. How about the hanging cauldron in that? Nope, nope. All right. What else do we have on here? Did we hit all of them? I guess we did. All right, perfect. Let's buy us another appliance, a non-standard aquarium that... Um, hmm, I can rotate it. I just can't really rotate it. I'm going to put the aquarium right there. It's balancing, so people, be careful. Don't knock it over. I, I'm going to be upset if you knock it over. That'd be really rude. Do we have... There are no employees remaining. All right. So noted. So just out of curiosity, wow, we got one, two, three, four, five recipes for this guy. So non-standard aquarium, that's obviously going to be one of them. Nope, didn't think so, but I thought I would try. Oh no, huh? How about that one? Nope. How about the immersion blender in the aquarium? Sea sponge emulsion. I wasn't entirely serious about that one, but it worked, so I'm not going to complain. Um, coffee? Ooh. That seems horrible. What about that? No. Let's try the, the fish milker. All right. What else do we have in here? So the aquarium, the coffee, and the blender. So coffee, immersion blender, and aquarium gets us the coral chino. Comes with a liability waiver for all the mouth wounds. That sounds good. I mean, the waiver does, not the mouth wounds. The strainer and the aquarium. It's funny, I was going to try that one, and then I didn't. That's what I get for not trying. Bilge muck. Yuck. That sounds terrible. Look at that. There's money everywhere. I'm just leaving money on the table. Here we go. I need to collect all that. How are we doing? 250 bucks. We are just about there. So close. I think tomorrow, just for giggles, we're going to have an event, but we're going to have to wait until morning rolls around so we can get the most out of this. Now the question is, do we do the street performers who need to be outside, which we kind of do because we need to tolerate a mime, or do we do the folk art show? I kind of would like to do both. I haven't done both just yet, so maybe we'll try uh, maybe doing a little bit of both. Let's put a cutlass up here. I don't know what in the world we're supposed to get out of the cutlass. Maybe that and then that? No? Does that, does that get me anything on its own? Haunted shavings. Ah, there we go. That's how we're going to serve some metal. That's how we're going to do it. I haven't the slightest clue. Cauldron, pasta roller in the cutlass. So, pasta, cauldron, cutlass. Spooky spaghetti. Spooky. All right, I like the sound of that. That sounds like a menu item that can sell. Not sale. Sell. Just to be clear. We still need some more tables, so we are not quite there yet. What other appliances do we have? That, we are down to just a few of them. All right, so let's put the mixer down here. We're going to just buy the rest of these because I think we'll still have enough money. Uh, we're going to be cutting it close. You know what? I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to have to stop you right there, okay? Oh, you're doing that too. All right, here, let's go ahead and put you over there. Oh, you don't actually work with anything. You do. So can we do something like that and that? No. How about that and that? No. That and that, maybe? No. All right. I, I give up. Barrel of Grog, Cutlass, Coffee in a Bottle, and the Mixer. Barrel of Grog, 
Coffee in a bottle. Cutlass. I did say cutlass, right? Creepy cocktail. All right, I like the sound of that one too. That's Again, that's a menu item that can sell. Oh, there are a bunch of recipes in here. Let's unlock these, but be careful. Actually, you know what? We're going to hold off on that because I need, I need more customers to roll through here just so I can guarantee that I have enough money to book this because otherwise I'm just going to blow through that. I know. I realize I already have enough money, but I just want to kind of make sure before I unlock a couple more. There we go. Perfect. There. That, that was good. That was actually really handy right there. Here, let's unlock a couple more of these then. I can now... I can now do that. So, salad, fishing hole, and the cutlass. So, we're going to do that one, and that one, and this one, and we're going to get some sort of fish murder. All right. That's not what I expected we would get, but that is A-OK. -okay. I will take that. So, rush hour is 9 to 5. So, we're going to wait just a moment here before we call these mimes in which I'm not convinced that the mimes are actually going to bring us customers. I suspect it might actually um, keep people away. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, we'll put them... We can put them inside, but I've been wanting to test if you can put people outside. And look at that. You sure can. So we're going to have these people hang out right there. There you go. Careful walking through that construction. Careful walking through that mime. That, that could be a bad thing. Are we now tolerating a mime? We are now tolerating a mime. Look at that. We are actually really close to beating this level. So I need to pop more tables in place, which means I need a little more money. I guess I don't have to buy the, the really high-end stuff at this point. I just kind of like to. Squid ink pump fishing hole and the pirate's salad. Where are you pump? There you go. Black Sushi Splatter Plate. I remember someone wanted to buy that earlier, and I didn't have that as an offering. So, squid, cheese, and mixer. So, cheese, squid. Oh, this sounds terrible. Squid, cheese, and mixer. Nightmare Cheese Sauce. Oh, that sounds good. It's basically fondue that looks like it was salvaged from the oil change bin at your car dealership. Okay, never mind. That doesn't sound good anymore. So, fish and salad. Fish in a barrel. Fish in a barrel. The biggest problem seem to be all the holes the blunderbuss tends to blow in those things. There you go. Be careful with your blunderbuss. You might blow a hole in things. Wow, look at that. Money is rolling in. Uh, I don't know that they are helping in the slightest, but you know what? Keep it up. Keep it up, you weirdos. Keep it up. I want to go ahead and uh, get rid of that guy and get rid of that guy. And get rid of that guy. So we have lost a table, but I'm actually going to go back and look for some smaller tables now. So I can just kind of cram a couple of these in place here. We'll do two and two. And we'll do some furniture somewhere. I'm looking for some small tables, that'll or small chairs rather. We'll do something like that. Then we're going to go furniture. Let's find another of those. That looks good. We'll do another... One right here, and like so, and then we'll, I guess we'll do a couple buoy chairs right there, since those are nice, and we'll bring in the peeps. Careful walking around, people. This is not a very good floor plan. I'm literally cramming as much crap in here as I can to draw you all in. You just don't realize that's the plan. Sailboat painting, swordfish on a plaque. There we go. That sounds great. And the oh, oil lantern, we'll go ahead and put that, um, where will we put that? Can we put that right there? I guess we can, can I put another one over here? Yeah. Uh-oh. Are you freaking out? Stop freaking out. Okay, you're fine. I just, I just want to make sure that you're not freaking out. Why are you mad? Don't, don't be mad. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy, Okay. Do, 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 do. Ooh, a singing mounted fish. That sounds really good. That sounds like that would bring people in. Floor globe with nautical map. Can I... Where can I place that? Right there. Perfect. Look at that. We are bringing the peeps in. Bringing in the peeps. Wow, those guys are really going a long time, aren't they? Holy cow. I thought they would be done by now. Uh, this is the last thing we need to buy, so darn it, I'm going to buy it. So what do we have here? 
do that one. And then maybe that one? Nope. That one? No. That one. And how about uh, that one? Okay. So that actually unlocks a whole host of things we can buy. Oh my goodness. Fish, salad, cheese, tank, grog. Grog. Uh, salad, cheese, uh, fish, tank. Was it that one? Wow. That was a long recipe there. So, okay. Tank and tank, fish and salad. Done. Okay, so uh, tank and tank, fish and salad. Wait a minute. What did I? What did I do? Oh, that one. The one that actually says tank. Got it. Tank and tank, fish and salad. Done. Wait a minute. What did I do? Not you. You go away. Stop trying to confuse me. Hey, what the heck? Tank and tank. All right. Let's try that again. Tank. Fish. Salad. Tank. All right. I don't know why it didn't work before. I, I thought I did that. Cheese, ink, tank, and pasta. So, ink, cheese, pasta. Get some pasta going. I don't understand. Okay, tank, pasta, cheese. Oh, was it not salad? What was it supposed to be? I missed it now. Uh, do, 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 do. So, cheese, ink, tank, and pasta. I thought that's what I did. I must not have. There we go. Black seafood ravioli. Let me close this, because there are tips to pick up. There's all sorts of money being left on tables. And I want to make sure I take all of that. Give me your monies. I'm actually really close here. I've I've actually completed the level. All right. Well, that's fine. I, I kind of want to see what the rest of these recipes are, though. Because, you know, missing out on some good jokes if I don't. So we'll just kind of finish those out. So the fishing hole... Tank and the tank and the cutlass. So tank. Fishing hole. Cutlass. Tank. Spooky sashimi. All right. Then we've got fishing hole. Tank aquarium. And what else? Immersion blender. The gooey pink slurry smoothie. That also sounds terrible. Oh, look at that. We got two more to go. Fishing hole. Tank and ink. Ink, fishing hole, tank, black jambalaya. Mm, I haven't had jambalaya since I've gone vegetarian. There you go. Uh, pasta roller, cheese, and tank. Crab nochi. Noki? Is it noki? I think it's noki. Oh, wait a minute. One more. I thought I was done. Cutlass and the fishing hole. I must have missed that one sometime back then. Metal shavings. Uranium sashimi. Done! Look at that. I'm going to pick up all the money because I can. So give me the monies and let us move on to the next one. I think the pirate captain's going to be coming in. Uh oh, I don't know if my throat's ready for this. Oh boy. Yar, you beat me, miss. Fair and square. Well, thank you for being lad enough to admit it. Ha! Ah. I suppose I had that coming. You stirred something in me, Miss Ruby. A passion. I've spent years as the only attraction on this boardwalk, and I was getting sloppy. You have shown me I can do better for the customers. Thank you. Now if you could please let... Oh man, this is going to be bad. You remind me of a young me, so full of life and ambition. That's great, but really, if you could leave, I need to... And creative zest. You know it was when I was seven years old that I first found my calling. That was the day I realized that ducks were truly the kings of the sea. Oh, this guy. I wanted to be a sailor more than anything in the world. But I had a problem. I couldn't sail. Hello? Okay, you know what? Fine, go ahead. I'll just lock you in. 
Ah, oh, my throat can't take it anymore. I asked my mother for sailing lessons, and she was broke, being a seamstress without any other income except the pittance she made on Friday night sewing for men in, on the streets. That seems weird, so I had to find my own way. I made my way to the local park and attempt to sail a plank of wood into the bottom, but instead ended up crashing into a nest of ducklings. They chirped a whistle, now Rachel, such melodic noises. They took me in as their own after a single afternoon. I was on the sea. I can't do it anymore. My throat hurts too much. I like how all the, the decor is still floating there. Oh, this guy, but I was full of vim and vigor and I needed to see more of the sea. So on my birthday, I snuck aboard the first ship I could find in the harbor. It was the Shining Star. At least that is what I called it. It's a Chinese cargo ship. I realized that and that it did not actually have sails only a day after we had left port. I had worn myself out and fallen asleep in a pile of cheap knockoff designer underpants. I spent my 10th birthday traversing the Pacific Ocean. It was there that I learned how to skin and eat a man in five minutes flat. It was a terrible journey, one I'll never forget. I made it home via the post. I was able to ship myself with the handful of American stamps I had in my pocket. It was necessary to blend into the scenery, and so I had to fashion clothes out of paper bags to act as a parcel. The most difficult part was trying to go to the bathroom without revealing that I was, in fact, a human child and not a parcel. Luckily, I had a duck with me and was able to make use of it. That does... I don't even want to know. Um... Good. Let's just leave him in there for the rest of the night on his own. Wow, that sea captain. Holy cow. I don't even think I can do this guy's voice anymore. This is getting to be a pattern. I will not let this girl get the deed to the coffee bottom fortune. I suspect... Well, never mind. I won't say it. Is there no one here who can defeat a total novice? Ooh, we got a twofer here. George, the ex-boyfriend. The problem here is that you've been attacking the business. You should be attacking the woman. The girl? And what do you mean? I happen to know she has a nasty temper and has a hard time taking criticism. If we can get her mad enough, she will be off her game. We can make her stumble down and lose the right to earn the fortune. It's simple, really. Yes, yes. Attack the girl. I think this is a wonderful idea. Her next challenge is to win over the hearts of the unwilling. She'll be opening a shop in the middle of America's place of worship, the shopping mall. She will find nothing but people full of criticism and entitlement. Exploit that. Do not fail me. Of course, I always win my case. Good, I have other things to deal with. Leave me. So why are you... Alright, I guess you're both going to be hanging out? That's cool. I can do that, I guess. I can do that. Look at that. Nice little spot in the mall. Have you seen the price of soap lately? It's an entire nickel more expensive than last week. Disgusting. I heard that the food... <laughs> I heard that the mall food court is changing from ketchup pumps to packets. All because of a salmonella outbreak. The attack, this is an attack on my civil liberties. Oh, These people. I can't believe this coffee shop isn't open yet. I've never seen it here before, but I'm already angry at it. How dare it not be open to serve me? Does it not want my money? Oh, you are just vile people. Go away. Hey, Albert's back, though. Isn't that his name? Well, he just got here and they already upset at us. They can't all be that bad. I mean, normal people have to shop at the mall, too, right? That was why this location was chosen. You will have your hard work cut out for you with patrons such as those. These customers are going to be very specific in what they want and like. You have to pay attention to what they want and try to deliver. If they get too mad, they may stop showing up altogether. And you'd know all about getting angry, wouldn't you, Rubes? Hmm. Hi there. Hey, Rubes. Miss me? The new girlfriend snickers. No. No, I don't. Get out of my store. Uh, she's actually not... Uh, they're, they're not actually in the store. Miss Ruby, that is no way to talk to a customer. He's no customer. He's a jerk I used to date. See, babe, what did I say? Rubes here can't hold her temper. This will be easy. What are you talking about? I'm perfectly able to control my temper. Oh, yeah? Then what about the promotion? One little thing, you break up with me and leave the company. Literally, we were both... We we were both up for the same promotion. You spread rumors in our work that I gave the boss son's pile driver. Wow. Um, pile driver, huh? That sounds dangerous. You know, guys have broken their necks getting pile drivers, so be careful about that. I lost my job and the respect of my boss. As if what you did was okay and I'm the crazy one. See? She finally admits it. Ah, don't talk to her while I'm talking to you. Please take a breath. Now, sir, if you don't have any further business here, I'm going to have to ask you to... Oh, 
but I do have business. Remember this individual? Ah, hello. This individual is very upset at the total lack of service they received, but we aren't even open yet. And that is something my client is prepared to take to court. I'll be watching you, Rubes. We'll be watching you. If you can't keep your customers happy, I'm going to find all the disgruntled ones and cook up the biggest, nastiest class action lawsuit you've ever seen. I want to speak to the manager. Yeah, you are a worthless mall patron, aren't you? Not now. Grumble, grumble. All right, you just stand there running in place. You're getting sloppy. You need proof. This is all hearsay. My word against theirs. That's where you're wrong again. Uh-oh. What is that? Uh. These are my cuties. I see how so much is legal. Huh. The name's Motoko, and my little friends are going to make sure we catch you in the act. That looks like a drone. See you, Rubes. She's cutthroat enough for this business, and she's from office IT. You just never did have what it takes to be a lawyer. Ah! Ha 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 ha! ha ha! <laughs> Why do you stop laughing? That makes me mad. Mad enough to sue someone. Leave. I still want to speak with the manager. This is just bizarre. <laughs> well, uh, huh. Yeah. Kind of ruined the whole evil thing I had going there. It wasn't the best anyway. Kind of after school special bully meets spoiled rich kid. <clears throat> I'll just leave. But remember... Right, right, you're going to sue me. Uh, huh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Did you happen to find my Prolapse in the City Season 3 DVD, by the way? Uh, no, you loaned that to your brother. Oh, cool. Mm. Uh, bye. All right, see ya. See ya, Motoko. See ya, drone. Bye, drone. I wasn't sure if the drone was going to stay. Guess not. Drone's out. Are there any previous lovers that I should be prepared to deal with, Miss Ruby? At least any that plan on suing us into bankruptcy? Let's just get to work. I agree. Let's get to work. We have a coffee shop to open that apparently... Oh, wow. Look at that. I got to get to work quickly. Uh, Touchscreen register. Um, wow. Coffee maker. Let's get this thing going. We need some food and drinks. Let's research the crap out of that. Perfect. All right. We need some decor. Let's get something going on in here. We need to get people in here. I don't understand. There we go. Some decor. We need to get some more people in here. Beans wall logo. Perfect. We need to get more decor in here. Crud. Perpetual wet floor sign. That actually sounds kind of funny. Uh, I like that. We're going to put that in the corner. Ice cream and sugar stand. Ooh, fake plant. I'm just looking for anything else that I can put on a wall somewhere. Perfect. Stock image photography. Let's put that on the wall. Let's try and get more people coming through the door. That, um... I don't know. Am I, am I doing this the wrong way now? I'm not. I see that going up, and I don't. I don't want that to go up. Okay. Uh, menu good. Perfect. Why is that going up? How do I get that to stop going up? Uh, research and epic are better. And four thousand percent on turn of coffee. Ten decor items. Place all available appliances. Get Uncle Ron out of the house. Um. Oh, that's that's why. Oh, got it. I wasn't paying attention to the drone. Holy crap. I gotta be careful. I gotta pay attention to that drone. That's, that drone is gonna sue me out of business. That's not good. Wow. Uh, nope. I already... Yeah, I know. I already did that. Uh, espresso and coffee. Nope. Menu. Okay, good. Dairy pump. Has a nice cow look to it. That's nice. So we should be able to get a few things out of this one. Can I get one on its own? Oh, look at that, a bean shake. Coffee maker, I hear you. I hear you, you're going away. All right, so that means I have to pay attention again and have another one of these levels where I'm going to have to click stuff. Got it. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and I will catch you on the next one as we are looking for more stuff. Hey, 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 hey. More stuff to uh, put on the walls and try to get some people into this place. Buy your coffee and get out. And maybe I'll buy a small table somewhere. I don't know. I'm not really sure just yet. Anyway, catch you on another one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.